the rest of the city's plan. Here's Action News reporter Dan Quick. Effective today, we are prohibiting public gatherings involving more than 1,000 people in the city of Philadelphia for the next... Here's Action News reporter Dan Quick. Effective today, we are prohibiting public gatherings involving really? more than 1,000 people in the city of Philadelphia God. for the next 30 days. The city is also trying 30 day to decree. there be no public gatherings of 250 people or more, such as sporting events, meetings, or religious services. Tonight, the Philadelphia Orchestra was playing without anyone in the audience at the massive Verizon Hall, an eerie sight to behold. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot, but it's, uh, you know, really drastic situations require, like, really drastic action. Have you ever seen anything like this in your lifetime? Not in my lifetime. I've never seen that like this before. Like, I don't even, I, I'm a part, like, they really... I've seen this before. In my head. So this is the second time that I'm watching this happen. They're really saying that this is, like, serious. I think it's good that we're telling people not to gather. It's going to be kind of eerie. Gather! Right? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit weird, but I think ultimately it's, it's for the best. Late tonight, the Philadelphia School District announced that 63 schools would be closed tomorrow because, as it turns out, employees at those schools live in Montgomery County where the virus has hit hard. But Superintendent Dr. William Hyde says it's important to keep other schools open. Large numbers of our children depend on schools for shelter, health, meals, safety, and care. And without schools being open, we... Our, our young people are also going to see these people images in the sky. You're like, what the hell? About what these steps will mean for their jobs. Just because a lot of people are just, uh, like I said, too, too scared to come out. But, you know, like I said, our restaurant's been practicing safe habits from day one. Nothing's changed. I mean, it's scary. I mean, we both work in the hospitality industry, so we're definitely feeling it. But that you can do is wash your hands and hopefully it dies down. By the way, the Philadelphia Orchestra streamed its performance live on the web and it will do so again on Sunday for its performance then. The city stresses that while these steps are inconvenient, they are vitally important to protect people. Live here at City Hall, I'm Dan Poyar, Channel 6, Action News. Jim? Thank you, Dan. Authorities in Delaware County held a briefing tonight. They said the county still has just one confirmed case of coronavirus. Although the county borders Montgomery County, there are no plans now to shut down schools or businesses. Tomorrow, Radnor schools will be closed for a teacher in service day to develop plans for any potential long-term closures. There are now four cases of COVID-19 in Delaware. Officials say all four have connections to the University of Delaware. The governor's office has declared a state of emergency. This is music of the Philadelphia Orchestra tonight in Verizon Hall at the Kimmel Center. But in what has to be a first, the orchestra played to 3,000 empty seats. And while it was broadcast live online, such is life in this strange and anxious world of the coronavirus. I have a question. Kobe Bryant, I mean, uh, uh, not him, um, LeBron James, he said if there aren't fans in the stadium, he's not playing. So if he's not going to play basketball because there's no fans in the stadium, does he truly love playing basketball or does he love being worshipped as a god? It is Thursday night, and the big story on Action News tonight, two late-breaking developments in the coronavirus crisis. Late word, 63 Philadelphia public schools will be closed tomorrow because a lot of their My teachers son's live done. in Montgomery County, and they have been asked not to report to work by Montgomery County officials. Whether those schools will open next week will be disclosed at a later time. We have posted a list of all the schools on 6abc.com. And then there is this, 22 fire and EMS personnel in Upper Marion Township have been placed in quarantine after coming into contact with a single EMS provider who has tested positive for coronavirus. Authorities say despite the quarantine, the Upper Marion Fire and EMS Department is operating at normal levels. Meanwhile, this was a historic day in Montgomery County and Philadelphia as they make moves to contend with the virus Action News reporters Bob Brooks, Maggie Kent, and Dan Quayer are poised to tell the... the... The whole goal is to get you in your house. Everybody needs to get in their house. Remember what the Bible says where 
that fury that passes by, he who flees from the fear of the noise shall fall into a snare. But the power that you have is to stay still for a little moment until the fury passes over. That's that three-day period where those xenomorphs are going to come out. But in the meantime, they got to get everybody in their house. Because this is the way to get everybody to see it all at once. It's a way to get all neighbors to communicate with each other. And he who endures to the end shall be saved. If you're fleeing from the fear of the noise, if you're not prepared, if you don't have any water and everything runs out, and food, then you're going to wind up heading over to the, these, uh, these, your local Walmarts and Targets. Because Trump had a speech today, and he had the CEOs of Walmart and Target, and they will be open. They're going to make sure that they're open for you in case you run out. You know, all the preppers that have been doing this for years, they're laughing in the people's faces right now that haven't prepared and have laughed at them beforehand. And I understand that you would do that, but at the same time, that ain't cool either. Because you don't have to, you don't have to love that someone who truly didn't get it, like, you can't really see that you need to stock up on stuff. Not everybody's going to figure that out. So to, to get to judge them for, you know, to laugh in their face and then, ha ha, it's not cool. It's, it's just not. But to laugh in a Kleckite's face, that is going to be cool because these are enemies against you. And these are people that truly believe what Kleck has promised them. Remember. Oh, broken promises. So when these events do happen, and then your boss does tell you, and then you are standing there in shame, I'm not going to be laughing at you. I'm just going to be waiting for you to get back up, humble yourself, and then we can talk. Then we can have a really good conversation, because you'll show me respect, and, and, and you'll understand that all I tried to do is just warn you about what is going to happen. But you don't like that, because who can possibly know what's going to happen? That's the problem. Once they get us all in our house, and they get everybody to see this show, the grand finale, after all this stuff happens, and then the world's going to look like it's absolutely collapsed, and right around May 21st will be the very... I mean, and then you got 10 days because you're going into like perdition there. You're going from an eight full year period. You've, you've exercised your eight full years, Jonathan Cleck. Your seven year tribulation period. Your two years of children, two years and under. Once that gets to the 21st of May, well, I'm seeing it like this. May 21st. is the beginning of the end of the world. I, yeah, I'm still, I, you know, I, I got to think about this. That, that rapture, I really am torn between May 21st and COVID-19 uh, on March 19th. The co-video that Kleck's going to make, because you have, the video he made before is Kobe Bryant falling. That's the black angel that he cut out the, of the metal. Kata Dynasteo, Down Dynasty. So those nine angels fell already, and then Kleck is the tenth. Kleck's going to ascend up because they fell, and then and then when Kleck ascends up, it's also the rapture with the white angel. Trump's white too. Kleck's white. Not everybody knows Kleck, but the most of the world knows. Uh, Trump. So that's why it's the 2616 because it goes from the 26th of January with Kobe Bryant falling and the other the nine total. Then you got the 10th, which is going to be Jonathan Cleck there on the 16th. These stories. 
of March. But you got three days. Is anything going to happen on the 16th? No, just besides Click falling from the sky and, and dying. But other than that, you know, nobody's really going to know anything. It might not even be on the news. I mean, he just might do a live stream and only we know. And then three days later, here comes, uh, here comes the rapture. So that would be a great earthquake that would happen on the 19th if the rapture happens. Either way, according to the scripture, a great earthquake happens, the graves are opened up, and everybody gets raptured up out of here. That has to happen first because the Antichrist needs 40 days to, to preach. Which kind of makes me think Click might stay alive for this. But one of these events have to happen between the 16th or the 19th of March to kickstart the 45 days. That way we can get to May 3rd. I believe it's May 3rd. The bombs start dropping from Iran. And then you have the 21 days of Daniel. But you also have that 10 day period because there's a, it's separate days. It's not tied all in. It's 45 days. Blessed is he who waits till that day. And then from that point on can be the 21 days. But then from that point on, it can also be the 10, the 10 days that follows that, the final. And then it's, and then, you know, it's like a seven day tribulation period. And then, it, but it's three days of darkness, which is the 10 days altogether. But the three days, I see that as being the last three. Because once the sun goes from the west and sets in the east, and it doesn't rise back up again for another three days, that's the time where Daniel's praying, and then he's asking God to shine his face, the light of his face, which is the sun, upon the land of the desolate. So then after three days, all this hell, all this horror, everything everybody's going through, watching their TV, because they're all quarantined into our house. Look, it's just the beginning of... Don't you know how to relax? It's the beginning of retirement. Yeah, you're going to be doing without certain things. you got to cut down on everything. That's why it's best to do that fast and prepare beforehand because then you get, you're adapted to it. I've only been talking about this fast for the past few months now. And I've been doing it because I'm getting my, my own body and ment my mind mentally prepared. The number one reason why I fast is to get myself prepared to do without because of what I see coming. And on top of that, losing weight is a benefit. Gaining your thoughts is a tremendous benefit. And being able to do without gives you that spiritual power. That no matter what they do to you, they can't do anything. Because, look, I have my water. I have plenty of water. The store's all running out. This is just some of my water. I got plenty of food, and I don't need a lot of food, but I have plenty, and I'm not worried about someone robbing my house, because there's going to be nothing but armed uh, military men, hanging and women, hanging around our neighborhood, because they're shutting everything down. They're not our enemies, you got to understand that. Kleck's not your enemy, unless you are his enemy. The enemy is an evil heart. That's the enemy. Click's heart changed already. He's already told you that. He's telling you the truth. I would tell you if I think he's lying. He's not. This happened over a period of time. It happened over seven years. And then he was flourishing in his palace. And then he was told about, you know, what was going to happen to him in his dream. And then after 12 months, which is an eight full year period. Well, you know, it could be seven years and after 12 months, then he repented as of last year. And then this, this whole year is just a realization of it's, it's true. You know, what's really happening here, the Bible is actually being played out. And it's being fulfilled at the same time. The script is being written and played out. And behind the true scenes, it's being fulfilled. Because they know all the damn truth. They know the Bible inside and out. And they're... That's the part that must be enjoyable, to be able to know the Bible inside and out and see it unfold and unravel right in front of your eyes as the script that you guys wrote, and it's actually coming true in real life. 
that must be amazing. But for me, I just get to, I'll enjoy it later on when, when I can, Bob is live in. when I can just sit back, retire, and then start to watch the old videos and just see where I was at, at the time frame of the events taking place. That is going to be interesting because that's what you, that's what the people on the inside get to see now that these events have already taken place in, in some of my video titles alone, but we're just waiting for the date to come around. But listen, the ultimate goal is this, to get people to turn and repent and start having some respect for their creator. This energy, you can't stop it. It's just an energy of reset. We're resetting and then we're going to go in the right direction. And all those elite children that are out there, they start to get taught the right way from this point on. And I know those Christopher Greens that are hiding out in Hawaii, you're literally going to want those rocks and the dens to fall on you, to hide you from the face and the wrath of God. You think Jesus Christ is your king, uh, Christopher? Well, not yet. <laughs>